Hello, this is my new attempt, another attempt at trying to create a video blog. Basically, a continuous video update, hopefully daily, every other day, is every chance I get, to let, kind of let everybody know what's going on that's interested, and also so I can keep track of what's going on and I can look back and say, oh, hey, that happened. And um, <clears throat> anyway, so the whole point of keeping a diary or a blog or a journal, this is it. Um, we're here in Hewitt, a.k.a. Robinson, actually, um, pretty close to Hewitt, but um, we came in late tonight. It's now early on the 6th, and it's a very brisk, I don't know if you can see my breath, morning, but it's about 12-something in the morning, and I'm about ready to go to bed after this, but I wanted to just do a quick update to let everybody know kind of what's going on, and also to inform you about things to pray about, and most importantly, to say thank you for everything that you have done out there and I hope the people that have helped us a lot of them they don't have Facebook but maybe they can get on YouTube and see this and see uh, see what's going on in our lives now some of these will be mo probably mostly me unless Alton is feeling up to it right now she's asleep and she should be it's too late at night for her to be up and she's sleeping soundly but I wanted to give you an update on what's going on um, Altenai has, uh, the things to pray about, Altenai has been experiencing low sodium. And for those of you who don't know what low sodium is, it's a really big deal. Um, sodium can cause complete delusion, uh, extreme anxiety. Anxiety is an understatement. I mean, complete, for lack of a better word, almost a ballistic sense of reality and fear is overwhelming. And there is no reason and there's no way of talking her out of it. And it, and it breaks my heart to see her go through it. She's been into the EC, as the MD Anderson calls it, instead of the ER, they have an emergency center, a little bit more posh perhaps, but they, uh, we've now become on one first name basis with most of the staff there and all of the doctors, to my knowledge, uh, know as well, including the emergency room pharmacy service, who worked overtime in order to make something av available to us that was only before available through the hospital, and that is that They've given us an IV pole, which I'm using right now as a tripod to talk to you. I clipped my phone on here. And um, this IV pole and the, and the saline solution they've given us gives us the ability not to have to go to the EC every time it's low, but to be able to hook her up intravenously to what she needs. The side effect is swelling, but it does keep her sodium levels stable. Now, the reason why they're not stable is because she has two catheters. She has something called the Denver catheter, and that is on her right side, which drains fluid from and around her lung, not in her lung, but around her lung, which is really important because before we didn't have that, and we thought she was dying of emphysema, and, and Scott White thought some grandiose thing that was going on where she was going to have to suffocate to death. Fortunately, hospice was not the answer for us at the time, and, she, and Scott and White went ahead and put that catheter, Scott and White, I mean MD Anderson, put that catheter right away in so that she might be relieved of that. And it turns out she does not have emphysema in either lung, including the left one, which had supposedly been completely abandoned because it was filled with emphysema. And it turned out it was pneumonia, which was treatable. Although there's scarring tissue there, she has 73 to 74% of her lung back, as opposed to the 15 to 20 that she did have when we were leaving Scott and White. Um, she has another catheter. Catheter. It's a uh, it's an IP catheter, which is from her stomach, and uh, it is also to drain the fluid, the excess fluid that's going on. The reason she has this excess fluid is for a number of reasons, but in short, basically her lymph uh, lymphatic glands are not functioning correctly. Whether this is due to a lot of chemotherapy. I mean, they threw a lot of chemotherapy, both the Scott White and MD Anderson. They quote unquote threw the book at her and gave her everything they had, the top notch drugs that they had and hoped, Hail Mary passed, that it worked. Fortunately, those treatments are over and now it is up to diet, exercise, and just therapy in order to make her recover. There's no way of measuring whether it helped or it hurt. There's no tumors to be looked at to see if they're shrunk or not. And, um, we're hoping and praying that through therapy and through everything else that she'll be able to make a much better and healthy recovery. She's already doing a lot better. But this sodium level right now is at the top of our list of things that are very difficult. And uh, second on her list is that she'll start walking. It's very difficult to walk when you have no energy. And once again, leading back to nutrition, electrolytes, sodium. These things are very important. It's sodium, magnesium, potassium. Those three things 
are easily depleted by her draining. So it's a dance that we're having to learn the steps to that we've never heard the song before. And we don't really have doctors guiding us doing this because they really deal with more chemotherapy and rehabilitation. This is not considered rehabilitation. And uh, dietitians, they're not as trained as I wish they would be. They, they suggested Gatorade to incle increase her electrolytes. Over a short period of time, that's fine. But when you have the second to third ingredient is corn syrup, that's not cancer preventative. In fact, if anything, that's with no physical activity, it's harmful for her. So we fortunately have been turned on to good things via a number of people that God has brought us in contact with, and many of them are you. And I want to thank you so very much for the financial support, for your prayers, and for the nutritional support that has been brought by. I want to name names right now. They're at the top of my head, or on the tip of my tongue. But um, anyway, her um, back to what she's doing uh, every day now. Because we're doing the sodium chloride, we're doing two liters right now a day of injection, which means that she needs to drain about that much, but not as much in order to keep some of the sodium. So she's a little bit swollen now as opposed to the last time you saw her last week, if anybody saw her. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it for prayers right now. It's really cold out here. I'm outside because everybody's asleep and I don't want to wake them up. But this is one in many... Uh, vlogs hopefully to be coming up, videos, blogs for those of you who aren't tech savvy, and I want to thank those who have given us cameras to use that are of higher quality, but the iPhone right now is going to be the easiest resource, even though it's not the best camera, simply because it's so convenient and will let us go through. On my own personal mess, uh, list of things to pray about, uh, pray f for both of us, first of all, energy and perseverance, and may faith stay far away from us. Faith uh, <laughs> faith. Forgive me. Fear. May fear stay far away from us and may faith be our closest friend. I'm tired. I don't know if you can tell. And um, our car broke down. Ta-da. But I mean, we made it to the front door and it went. So I know God's in control of that. I'm not worried about it and I'm not asking for anything. I'm actually here just to say thank you and I love you and I thank you for everything you've done. God has supplied every single need. Living on uh, complete handouts, charity, is humbling beyond belief. I have four jobs lined up, four jobs. Uh, I have Houston ISD, I have a Houston private studio, I have a Houston uh, uh, production company who has opened its doors to me wide open to help, and I have also have the best Academy of Music with Lois Ryder right there, ready for us to work. But unfortunately, until Alt and I can walk again, until Alt and I doesn't need 24-7 around-the-clock assistance, I can't be doing anything. So we are completely dependent upon the, the mercy and the grace that God has given through other people, through our family, and through our friends, and some complete strangers that reached out and are helping us. Every day, God has answered every single prayer. There has not been one day. There's been days when we had almost negative in the account, but God has never let us overdraw. And I think that might be the first time in my entire life for a long time that my account didn't overdraw or that I didn't have to have red alerts or anything. I just know it's all in God's hands. And I want to thank you so much for that. I'm talking extra fast because I'm very cold. But I want to say one more praise, and that is this. I don't know, for you smokers out there, I want to throw this out there. I've been smoking for most of my life. And, you know, Alt and I is getting healthier, and it's only fair that I do my best to get healthier. So... This right here, I'm really proud of. Um, it wasn't cheap, but it was uh, oof. It was something that we were able to be given, and it is an electronic cigarette. And I have to say, it works. It's humidity going my lungs. My lungs don't feel any worse. There's a little nicotine in it, and it tastes fine, and it gives you the fix, the oral fixation that you need, and you have a refill, rechargeable pack. For those of you who are smoking out there and can't kick it, I strongly recommend this, especially if you have the oral fixation issue that I have. So anyway, God bless you all. Love you. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.